Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surabhi Sharma. Here the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 19th of September. India slams Pakistan for denying airspace access to PM Modi's plane. Activists say CPEC project paralyzing Balochistan. And at least 20 killed in Taliban attack in Afghanistan. And now for all the details. India's foreign ministry has yet again slammed Pakistan over its denial to give clearance for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's overflight to the US, calling it an unfortunate situation. Pakistan's foreign minister rejected the Indian request on Wednesday over the Kashmir issue. India's foreign ministry on Thursday slammed Pakistan over its denial to give clearance for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's overflight to the U.S. and said it is an unfortunate situation where a country's head is denied clearance by another country. Indian Foreign Secretary V.K. Gokhale, while addressing a media briefing, said India hopes that Islamabad will realize the folly of its actions. The foreign ministry had earlier issued a statement saying India regrets Pakistan's decision to deny overflight clearance for a VVIP special flight for the second time in two weeks. It is a rather unfortunate situation where a, a country denies overflight to the head of state or head of government of another country. Uh, but this is true when the country is when, when there's a normal country. Uh, now we have made our position very clear. We hope that Pakistan will realize the folly of its actions. Pakistan on Wednesday rejected the Indian request via a video statement in which Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said Islamabad had told the Indian High Commission it was turning down their request over the Kashmir issue. Relations between Islamabad and New Delhi, already hostile, have been strained since India's move last month to revoke the special status of its Jammu and Kashmir region. The Indian Army destroyed nine live mortar shells found at different locations in Punch district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Wednesday. The shells were found days after four Indian troops suffered minor injuries in Pakistan firing along the border in Punch. The Indian Army destroyed nine live mortar shells of 120 mm found at different locations in Punch district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Wednesday. The shells were found at Sandot, Basoni and Balakot villages in Mendhar subdivision of Poonch district. The operation was conducted swiftly and no collateral damage was reported. It is the second incident in a week when live mortar shells were destroyed by the Indian Army in the border areas of Poonch district. Earlier on Sunday, Indian Army troops destroyed a 120mm live mortar shell found at a secluded place in Poonch. The shells were found days after Pakistan violated ceasefire along the border. Last week, India's foreign ministry said that Pakistan violated ceasefire 2050 times this year, in which 21 Indians were killed. It is from Pakistan. Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan has said he would insist US President Donald Trump to revive Afghan peace talks with the Taliban. Khan, who is scheduled to meet Trump in New York next week, said he would emphasize on the importance of talks for Afghanistan. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that he would urge US President Donald Trump to revive Afghan peace talks with the Taliban militant group. Khan, while addressing the inauguration event of 24 into 7 Park Afghan border crossing for trade on Wednesday, said he would meet Trump in New York on September 23rd and would emphasize on the importance of talks for Afghanistan as there had been destruction and chaos in the country for years now. 
He further added, Pakistan had directed the Taliban leaders to participate in the earlier peace talks in Qatar and only discovered too late that the talks had broken down. If the talks are going to be bigger, I have a meeting with President Trump in New York. I will insist that this is the first time to take the four decades, or 40 years of Afghanistan, اس انتشار میں پسے ہوئے اور بہت تباہی مچی ہوئی ہے تو پہلے تو افغانستان کے لیے بڑا امپورٹن ہے ٹاکس ہوں منس آف یو ایس نیگوسییشنز ویڈی تالیبان ملٹنز انڈیڈ آفٹر یو ایس پریزیڈنٹ ٹرمپ ابرپلی کینسل ٹاکس ویڈی گروپ دیٹ ویڈ پلانڈ فور سپٹیمبر ایٹ ٹرمپ سیڈ دی ٹاکس آر ڈیڈ آفٹر دی تالیبان کلیم رسپونسیبلیٹی فور این During an event in Geneva, Baloch activists highlighted the ongoing exploitation of natural resources in Balochistan due to the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project and the atrocities being inflicted on Baloch people. They said CPEC is an illegal project as Balochistan is under Pakistan's illegal occupation. Human rights defenders and activists from Balochistan have opposed the construction of the multi-billion dollar China-Pakistan Economic Corridor or CPEC, alleging it as an illegal project in the occupied region. During a discussion on CPEC in Geneva, Baloch activists demanded an immediate international intervention to save Balochistan from the rampant exploitation of its natural resources by both China and Pakistan. They also highlighted the ongoing human rights violations being committed by Pakistan security forces in the region. So what this project is going to give us to the people, is, uh, yes, the government has tactfully, you know, succeeded in, uh, is from the, in the past more than 10 years, you know, keeping high the details of this project. No one knows, even a parliamentary member, none till date does not know that what are, what are the designs, what are the projects and what's going to be uh, done to the whole region. The people are fear, they know this thing, that they are going to eliminate us. And uh, Baluch's uh, human rights crisis, it is a big crisis and everybody knows that, that uh, if somebody keep their eyes closed, that is their problem, but they should not. Gwadar, a strategic port in Balochistan, is being developed as a part of the CPEC project, which activists have blamed has been stripping away the region from its natural resources. Activists have blamed that CPEC has only brought death and destruction for the local people instead of economic opportunities and accuse that Pakistani security forces have been given a free hand to eliminate voices against the illegal project. In news from Afghanistan, at least 20 people were killed and over 90 wounded when a truck bomb exploded near a hospital in southern Afghanistan on Thursday. Taliban, which has vowed to disrupt the upcoming presidential election, claimed responsibility for the attack. A Taliban truck bomb killed at least 20 people and wounded 95 when it exploded near a hospital in southern Afghanistan on Thursday, a provincial official said, with casualties expected to rise as rescuers sift the rubble. Some of the wounded people who were taken to Kandahar Hospital for treatment said the blast occurred in the early morning. The Taliban said the target was a nearby building of the government's intelligence department in Kalat, the capital of Zabul province. Twenty bodies and 95 wounded people have been evacuated from the blast site. Haji Atta Jan Hakbayan, a member of the provincial council in Kalat, said. <laughs> Taliban has been carrying out nearly daily attacks since the collapse of peace talks with the US earlier this month. The militant group has vowed to disrupt the presidential election in Afghanistan, which is scheduled to be held on September 28. In East from Nepal, 
Nepal's Minister for Health and Population, Upendra Yadav, on Wednesday informed the parliament that the number of dengue inflicted people are decreasing and there is no need to declare health emergency following dengue outbreak in the nation. Nepal's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Health and Population Upendra Yadav on Wednesday said that there is no need to declare health emergency following dengue outbreak in the nation. Yadav informed the parliament that the number of dengue infected people have been decreasing of late and claimed Nepali government of being capable of controlling the epidemic. According to the health minister, 5,095 people were suffering from dengue in 58 districts, while six patients have succumbed to the disease so far. Hami ka yo rog pani onya mulu karma jastai jatil ta yukta dengue rog atyanta nyun rupma matra dekhiye ka chan. Ra mirtu dar atyanta nyun rahe ko leni, apat kalin avastha ko ghoshana garna parni had ma na rahe ko kura jan kari garaona chahan su. Health Minister Yadav also claimed of progress in containing dengue outbreak through the surge and destroy operations. As the number of dengue cases shot up by double across Nepal in recent weeks, prompting public to panic and worry about it, several lawmakers from opposition and ruling party had questioned Yadav for being silent over declaring the disease as health emergency. Dengue has emerged as a major health concern in recent years with a steep spike in developing countries, especially during monsoons. More news from Nepal. With continuous rainfall across Nepal in recent days, the country's tourism department has asked all expedition companies to take precautions before organizing any mountain expeditions. Autumn is a popular season for mountain expeditions and trekking in the Himalayan nation. Nepal's Department of Tourism has requested all trekking and expedition companies to take precautions before organizing any mountain expeditions due to continuous rainfall across Nepal in recent days. Owing to the adverse weather situation, the Tourism Department, which issues climbing permits, has urged organizers to only carry out mountain activities if weather conditions permit. Since many national and international climbers are already in the region to acclimatize before mountaineering, the department has asked organizers to arrange proper accommodation and to assure safety of the climbers. र मलाई लाग्छ भोलिबाट चाहिँ मौसममा धेरै सुधार हुने देखिन्छ यद्यपि हिमाली भेगहरुमा भोलिपर्सी पनि अलिअलि बद्ली हुने देखिएको छ विशेष गरेर यो दिउँसो साँझ पख चाहिँ बद्ली हुने र केही स्थानमा वर्षा चाहिँ भोलिको लागि पनि रहे पनि Autumn is a popular season for mountain expeditions and trekking in the Himalayan nation has already seen huge surge in number of climbers vying for summit Nepal is home to eight of the world's 14th highest mountains, with mountaineering a major source of revenue for the country's tourism industry. A unique competition of rolling Indian bread in given time span was held in India's western Rajkot city on Wednesday. The competition was aimed at appreciating women's contribution to the society and giving them a platform to showcase their skills. Women in Rajkot, city of India's western Gujarat province, gathered to take part in a roti or Indian bread rolling competition and show off their cooking skills on Wednesday. Participants, including few children, rolled as many rotis as they could in a time span of three minutes. Some were fast enough to roll around 11 rotis in a minute during the competition that was attended by around 200 people. यहां पे 200 लेडीज आई थी जिनमें से बहुत सारी लेडीज ने पार्टिसिपेट भी किया था और जो भी लेडीज आई थी उन लोगों ने 1 मिनट के अंदर 11 रोटियां तक बेल ली है वैसे तो हम लोग घर पे रोज रोटी बनाते हैं पर आज जो हमने इस कंपटीशन में पार्ट लिया हमें बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है आज जो हमारा जो टैलेंट है ग्रुइनी का वो हाउसवाइफ का वो सबके सामने दिखा सकते हैं the unique competition is aimed at appreciating women's contribution to the society and giving them a platform to showcase their skills Roti, a round flat bread making using flour, is an integral part of Indian meal, which is usually eaten with various types of vegetable curries. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. 
Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.